Assalamualaikum and greeting to Dr. Farah and my fellow classmate. I am a group leader for Group 8. My name is Muhammad Hazim bin Osman. My metric number is 72807. And then our second member is Muhammad Ajul Afik 68598. Next, Muhammad Hazik Zufairi 70520. And then Sharon Valerina 71538. And the last person is Shakira Shasha 67860. My group and I will be presenting our mini project which is the aquatic organism. In this video, we will be presenting about the aquatic organism, the fishing and catching, the price of the aquatic organism that we have chosen, the cooking styles and taste of it. So what is an aquatic organism? An aquatic organism is an animal or plants of any species or hybrid including gametes, seeds, eggs, larvae, juvenile, and adult stage that any one of it must be in the water at some point throughout their lives. These aquatic animals are crucial because they are the organism that provide people with sources such as medicine, food, energy, shelter, and even raw materials for everyday living. Every aquatic species has a unique role to play in making our lives simpler, healthier, and more efficient. My name is Azim Osman. I will present about type of bait. Our group already choose our aquatic organism. First of it is mackerel. Mackerel can be found along coast or offshore in the oceanic environment. The type of bait is sand eel. Why the sand eel? Uh, suitable for fisher rod, for fishermen that are using fisher rod to attract small unit of mackerel so sand eel is very recommended so next is prawn or shrimp can be found in the ocean and have to be cut when they getting dark and because they like to go out when at night so they're very attracted to light it can be used a torchlight also and caught them by using a fish net or large amount of net if using a fish boat next is squid Squid can be found in open water over sandy bottom and man-made structures such as jetties. For the type of bait is squid jig. Next is cockles. Cockles can be found in at seashore. There is no bait for cockles but it can be catched by hand or handmade or scoop. Next is stingray. Stingray can be found in shallow coastal water of tempered sea. And their favorite bait is pillar crab. It's the most successful. Next is type of aquatic. Next is sea crab. Can be found in the ocean. And mostly bait use is a fish meat, a liver, or any meat that produces strong odor to attract the crab. That's all for me. Thank you. I'm Sharon Valerina Anak Francis, metric number 715G8. So there are two types of fishing and catching techniques, which are destructive and non-destructive. Non-destructive technique can be destructive if it's not carried out properly. Besides that, there are modern and traditional methods of catching these aquatic organisms. So the traditional method is the basket method, uses of barriers, use of herbs, and many more. Meanwhile, the modern method is the line fishing, bottom trawling, and cyanide fishing. The types of aquatic organisms that my group and I have chosen, which are fish, prawn, crabs, squids, stingray, and cockles, some of them have similar and some of them have different ways of catching it. So next, I would like to show you a video of ways fishermen catch or fishing this aquatic
this is a press list for our seafoods for these projects so the first one is string race uh, price per kilo is 12 ringgit second the sea crabs price for per kilo 18 ringgit and the third one is tiger prawn price per kilo is 45 ringgit next is squids 15 ringgit per kilo second last is cockles 20 ringgit per kilo and lastly mackerel 7 ringgit per kilo next is cooking style which will be presented by me Omar Zifari bin Sulaiman and Mama Adrafi bin Subsaidi for the first dish is fried mackerel with sambal these are the ingredients as for the instruction first mix together the turmeric powder and salt with the mackerel fish and fry them until golden brown after frying the fish blend the red onion and garlic together in the blender then pour a generous amount of cooking oil in the hot pan and mix it together with the chili paste after that pour the blend mix into the pan while constantly stirring the pan with a ladle then put one spoon of chili sauce, one spoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and MSG. Lastly, when the sambal is perfectly cooked, pour the sambal on the fried mackerel, and you can also put some freshly chopped spring onion as garnish. As for the second dish, shrimp cooked with sauce. These are the ingredients. As for the instruction, first we need to chop up the onion, garlic, ginger, chili, and the lemongrass, and get a separate bowl and mix together tomato sauce, chili sauce, and sesame oil in that bowl. After all the preparation done, pour a generous amount of cooking oil in the wok and stir fry the chopped vegetables. Then mix together with the already divined shrimp in the wok, and when the shrimp begin to change color, pour in the mix sauce in the wok. Add half a cup of water in the wok in order to have the right consistency and add a spoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt uh, and MSG. After it all have been cooked, serve it in a bowl with freshly chopped chilies as garnish. As for the third dish, it is spicy coconut flour crab or can be translated into ketam masak lemak cili api in Bahasa Melayu. Uh, these are the ingredients. As for instruction, blend the onion and garlic, ginger, chili and lemongrass in a blender. Then pour a generous amount of cooking oil in the wok and put the blend mix in the wok while stir frying it. After that, add a spoon of turmeric powder in a cup of water and pour it in the wok. Then wait for it to simmer. Then mix it together with the coconut milk in the wok. Then add a spoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt and MSG, and be sure to taste it before adding the crab. If the taste is right, then you can add the crab and let it cook about 10 minutes in order to get the right, perfect texture for the crab. Lastly, serve it in a bowl with a freshly chopped parsley as garnish. The fourth dish is crispy fried squid. These are the ingredients. Get three separate bowls. For the first bowl, add the freshly chopped squid, egg and a teaspoon of salt while mixing it together. For the second bowl, mix together the all-purpose flour, curry powder, garlic powder and paprika powder. As for the third bowl, pour the panko crumbs into the bowl. Fill half of the cooking pot with cooking oil and make sure it is 175 degrees Celsius. While waiting for the cooking pot to reach the right temperature, get a baking tray. First, get the squid from the first bowl and batter it with the second bowl. Then put it back in the first bowl mixture and then batter it with panko crumbs. In the third bowl, and the rest it side on the baking tray. Be sure to repeat the step for each pieces of squid. Fry the squid for 10 to 15 minutes in order to have a crispy texture. Furthermore, be sure the temperature does not exceed above 175 degrees Celsius or it will be burnt and overcooked. Finally, serve it on a plate and you can dress it with chili sauce and mayonnaise. Next is stingray curry. These are the ingredients. Get a medium sized bowl and mix together the curry powder and turmeric powder while adding water and mix it until it turns into a paste. Blend the red onion, garlic, ginger and lemongrass together. 
After that, put a generous amount of cooking oil into the cooking pot. Still fry the cinnamon stick, star anise and curry leaves until it reaches to a fragrant state. Then pour the blend mix in the cooking pot and the curry paste. While it's simmer, pour in 1 cup of coconut milk and add 1 cup of water and wait for it to boil instead. Then add finger ladies and stingray. When it's already cooked, serve it in a bowl with a side of rice. Last but not least is cockles with soy sauce. These are the ingredients. Chop the onion, ginger and the garlic. Pour a general amount of cooking oil in the wok and stir fry the chopped vegetables. Add in the cockles and add the half cup of the soy sauce and sweet soy sauce. Then add 1 cup of water. When it starts to boil, add 1 spoon of sugar and add 1 teaspoon of sesame oil, salt and MSG. When it's already done cooking, serve it in a bowl and garnish it with a freshly chopped parsley. That is all for me. Thank you. The conclusion for this project is uh, seafood sources have a lot of benefits for the human body. In a mean, while it is not recommended for someone who consumes seafood excessively, if consumed daily, it will give a bad impact which lead to someone catching certain diseases. Furthermore, we must consume seafood in recommended amount. Catching, handling, processing and distribution of fish and fishery products must be handled in the most critical way to preserve the aquatic ecosystem so that the nutrition value and the safety of the fish product to decrease waste product and minimize the negative impact towards the environment. The main effort should be focusing on protecting the natural habitat from damages, decreased value, pollution and other impacts which will involve the human health and the aquatic health. That's all from our group. Thank you.